Okay, hey, how you doing? This is Wayne Eulery, your social media mentor, and we are going to get started with Team Viewer. Now, this is a tool that I'll be using uh, potentially in the future with you, where uh, I could have a meeting on my computer where you watch me work on my screen, or we can have a meeting on your computer where I can help you work on your screen. It's perfect for helping out with support. So what you're going to want to do is come to teamviewer.com and then you're going to click on the download button. Nice shiny button right here. Uh, it's available for um, PC, Mac, Linux. You can also get an app on your iPhone or Android or Windows phone. Very cool. So we're going to go ahead and download this. Yeah, I'm going to put this into my downloads folder. That's right, I already downloaded it. We're going to replace it. Okay, so when you have Chrome, things that download uh, show up right here. I'm on my Mac, so I'm going to double click on that. <clears throat> okay, so please double click the icon to start Team Viewer. Pretty, pretty interesting. Pretty easy, I should say. So we're going to click on this. And we're going to install it. You can read all this if you'd like. <laughs> Print it, save it. I'm going to continue. Three. Install. Go to my password. All right, it's done. I'm going to take this and throw it in the trash because we no longer need the installer. And now we're going to search for Team Viewer. There it is. This is my computer's password. Okay, now you have two. Uh, pieces of information that I want you to copy down and send to me. They're very important pieces of information for me to use when I visit your computer. So what I want you to do is I want you to uh, copy your ID right here and then I want you to paste that in an email and I also want you to copy your password and paste that in an email. Okay, it's pretty simple how that works, and I'm going to show you why I need that in just a moment. Okay, so pretty simple. Um, go ahead and do that. Now, what, how this is going to be used leads into the partner's ID in order to control the remote computer. So I'm going to put in the ID to another computer of mine and show you how this works. So you put the partner, partner ID in and then you hit connect to partner. Now, this is the password. So that password that you sent me, this is why I need it. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the password of my other computer. And we're going to log on. And once you log on, here is what your user interface is going to look like. Okay, now I've already clicked on all the buttons to open it up so you can see what it looks like. But I'm going to show you what all the different buttons do right now okay and I took a still shot of this so you see me in my warning you can go blind from my pure awesomeness t-shirt <laughs> okay first we're gonna start with the webcam here's how you turn on your webcam you just click on the little webcam icon there and then you can see where I've shown up in the yellow t-shirt there is where you'll see yourself you'll want to click on share my cam or webcam share my video there'll be a little share button that comes over the screen click on that it allows you to see how you look first and then you can click share so the person that you're meeting with will actually be able to see you and you'll be able to see what they're going to see all right pretty cool so that's the webcam moving right along we're going to use I'm going to show you how to connect through audio uh, right here with your headset or your microphone and speakers on your um, computer so once you click on that you're gonna see the voice over IP box come in this is the voice over IP box 
And when it starts up, the microphone is muted. So you're going to want to click on where it says microphone mute, muted to unmute your microphone in order for the other person to hear you. I always recommend that you use a headset if you can. If you don't have one, that's okay too. But always uh, trying to use a microphone works best when communicating with another person over the computer. Okay, and you can also use the chat feature. So once you click on the chat uh, bubbles right there, the chat box will open up. And here is the chat box. You can see I just scribbled something from my other computer. So you can type in your message here, and then you can click the send button, and your message will get sent. And you can have a chat with the person that you're meeting with. I would prefer audio or video, audio video rather than chat, but that is your preference. Okay. There you go. That's how you use the user interface on TeamViewer.